around uh, 15 years ago uh, while uh, i was uh, just studying um, there was a lot of uh, hubbub about uh, call centers that is a place where bulk calls are entertained so i would just uh, think about it and then move forward because uh, i uh, didn't have the time nor the energy to look into uh, the technical aspects of a call center but uh, it's such an important phenomenon uh, and one of the most uh, uh, vibrant activities uh, generated from the next generation architecture that we need to understand how call centers evolved and what is the responsibility of the computer telephony integration in this regard so we we'll, we we'll look at uh, this in due course so a call center is essentially uh, an infrastructure an it infrastructure that integrates uh, web email and voice with customer relationship management that is our database uh, to handle a lot of calls it allows the companies to uh, reach out to existing and potentially new customers uh, so uh, for a large number of incoming calls uh, so many operators handle these calls so there is a automated call uh, routing configuration mechanism uh, so uh, technology found immense hype and gusto uh, in uh, call centers because uh, two very important aspects of call centers were inspired from intelligent network in design the first one is automatic call distribution and the other one is private branch branch exchanges so call center is a very interesting uh, phenomenon where the computers and the telephony uh, actually merge so uh, computer telephony integration is is a smart move from the uh, not so traditional but uh, uh, it's uh, uh, almost a past phenomenon uh, where we just had the automatic call distribution uh, on certain branch exchange uh, using uh, proprietary routing engines uh, these proprietary routing engines would make routing decisions uh, through the instruction set or through the rules provided to them one time in a in a in in a given uh, scenario but uh, in in its advanced form the computer telephony integration incorporates complete databases of customers and interacts live with the customer data to have a better uh, calling and called experience both for an arbitrary customer and the call center representative um using cti we can think about integrating uh, multiple call centers across the globe into a, a logically centralized location so this actually means that we have to combine the call routing decisions into a uh, a central place because the calls would now be routed to different parts of the world transcending across the uh, nation state boundaries which would stay transparent to the caller this is how typical computer telephony integration in a call center would look like so if you look at the more traditional view we call it the first party uh, call control we could think about making a call as a calling party or receiving a call as a called party on a computer that emulates the functioning of the handset the the dial pad and the ringtone on a computer similar to how a telephone behaves on the right hand side we have a complete architecture of a call center involving different uh, call center operators called the agents uh, which are connected to the cti server which is actually taking a live customer database to reroute the incoming calls on tdm trunks using uh, automatic call distribution facility so uh, this apparently complex uh, um, interaction can be uh, ironed out it could be understood uh, through a certain example uh, it it's very mechanical but uh, we are going to look at the sequence diagram just a couple of slides ahead now just uh, quickly understand how 
a call is made. So at the automatic call distribution facility on TDM trunk, a call arrives. ACD places it in a in a queue, uh, depending upon the direct dial-in service or uh, the uh, dialed number identification service. Then ACD informs the CTI mechanism that the call has been made. CTI now starts looking up the database using the DNIS or the CLI. If a certain uh, corresponding customer ID uh, is discovered, CTI server instructs ACD to place the call in a specific queue uh, of a certain agent. The ACD places the call in the queue and acknowledges the CTI server of the activity. The agent uh, now is available on uh, his uh, PC or IP telephone and uh, this message of the agent availability is sent to the uh, CTI server. CTI server immediately looks up in the customer database and passes the uh, relevant customer related information uh, to the agent using a pop-up screen on the um, on, on the computer. Uh, so agent gets in conversation with the caller and once the customer query or the cl client interaction is done, it could uh, be wrapped up or uh, more data could be uh, queried from the uh, customer database by keeping the uh, bringing the customer on hold and then resuming the uh, call. So this is how uh, we think about the call center uh, interaction with a certain customer uh, through different agents. So this is essentially the summary of uh, the example which I just shared with you um, in the form of a sequence diagram.